soon after I got my PhD, I began working on gesture and expression. And it was clear that facial expression was very rich, but there were no methods for measuring it. And there was a fundamental argument between Margaret Mead, who said it was another culture-specific language, and the earlier writings of Charles Darwin, who said it's universal to the species. To answer that question, I needed to study people who were totally isolated, who could not have learned their expressions from the media, from seeing Westerners. They were the critical case, and there weren't many of them left. And so in 1967, I went to the highlands of New Guinea, and I studied people where I was really, for most of them, the first outsider they had ever seen. They were still using stone implements. They had no written language. They had very little clothing. Um, I worked in a number of villages. I was a source of great entertainment. To them, I'd light a match. It was a miracle. Turn on a flashlight. They never see anything like this. And most important, they didn't know what a camera was. So when I would hold one up and take photographs or films, they weren't self-conscious because they just figured I was doing another one of my funny, strange things.